Hey, welcome to my Warframes Where They Are Now series, a little series I've had brewing in the back of my mind since the early days of Warframe, quote unquote. I'm going to put this little intro at the beginning of every video in this series. If you've heard this once or more, feel free to skip it. This is just my opinion and is not guaranteed to be fact. Remember with Warframe, everyone plays at least a little different from each other. That's why there's 52 frames as of making this intro, of course. That being said, I do plan on being as objective as I can with this series. But bias will always be a potential problem and will definitely shine through in certain episodes, if not all. Now, that being said, I hope you enjoy the series. April 12th, 2023. Tell me where I'm supposed to begin with the electric speed demon that is Volt. This dude is meta incarnate. Matter of fact, if you play Warframe and have a few friends that play with you, you likely know at least one Volt main. Actually, the one I know was in a previous video, Sparky. He's also going to be in this one. I don't know if he chose that name because of Volt or what, but it's fitting, isn't it? Base stats for a level 30 Volt Prime are as follows. 125 armor, 300 health and energy, and 450 shields. Let me tell you that armor needs help, but thanks to Archon shards, he got it. His passive generates electric damage for your weapons as you walk, though it is completely dispersed on attack, so if you're doing this, use something slow and powerful. Honestly, if I want to do that, I use the Corinth Prime, but I know a lot of people use the Redeemer Prime, and the Rubico Primus, as far as Eidolons go. I don't know about actual missions, I don't see a lot of ult mains in regular missions, aside from my buddy, of course. His first ability kind of tickles enemies with electricity. If it wasn't for his Augment Shock Trooper, I don't think too many people would bother with it. Personally, I replaced it with Zada's Whisper because Incarnon weapons receive a hell of a buff from it, albeit not sure for how long, because, you know, I don't know if DE intended for that to be the case. As for his second ability, Speed, it makes him and his allies walk faster. Who would have guessed? It's mostly speed for running, but uh, it also does increase your melee speed as well as your reload speed. So it does have some uses for that at least. But it is admittedly a ton of fun to run at Mach 10 and, you know, get stuck on everything in the process. The third ability is Electric Shield. Okay, now we're talking. It protects your ass and increases your damage, and it stacks with itself because of course it does. This and Shock Trooper are why everyone and their mother run this static hungry motherfucker in Eidolons. And I understand why, though I myself do not, which you'll see in another video. It might take a while, it's like seven videos away if I'm not mistaken. His fourth ability is Discharge. It sends out a wave of electricity and stuns enemies as well as actually doing some decent damage now. Fucking wow the upgrade this ability got. It used to suck in my opinion. I actually had it helmet out before the rework. And uh, now because of its chaining, it does actually last a decent amount of time. So I use it a hell of a lot more now. Granted, I did end up getting rid of my first ability for Zada's Whisper, of course, but yeah, no, beforehand it was this one I got rid of and I had Shock Trooper and Zada's Whisper. As for my build, guess what? Arcane Energize again. I run Arcane Blessing to pair with Equilibrium. Aside from that, I run a hybrid build, but I do focus primarily on strength, as you see. No augments this time, as without Shock Trooper, I don't really need them. I do like Capacitance, but I can't really squeeze it on there without really screwing up my own build. Uh, maybe in the future when I get more Archon Shards. Aside from that, I've been forgetting to explain why I have Archon Flow on pretty much every one of my builds. I don't have Prime Flow because for whatever reason, every time Barrow has it, I'm busy that weekend, so I haven't really had a chance to pick it up. Same problem with Prime Target Cracker, which has also been kind of screwing me, I'm not going to lie. As far as Archon Shards, what I'd run on him is either two or three for armor, and the rest would be duration. I'm not sure if I want to do a third one or not. I already have two of them on him for armor, and one of them on for duration, because I was keeping up with that. Because I like the dude. Anyway, now to pass it off to my buddy Sparky. Well, Volt first connected with me when I started Warframe. <sighs> Fucking way back when. Just generally through the playstyle, his power set gives. You know, I liked the aesthetic of the electricity. You know, I liked the ability to go fast and zoom through stuff. And just over time, it just clicked more and more. Probably just through the fact that I used him so much. It, you know, a constant feedback. Volt Prime, by extension, is, you know, my favorite Warframe in general. I adore just the aesthetic, the way the helmet looks, the armor looks, and... Again, just the ability to just fly through 
maps, butchering people with a fucking Nikana speeding through. It's fun to me. It's it's a fun gameplay loop, and it, it honestly has changed the way I play a lot of games. Just the idea of fast DPS type deals. And I know Volt isn't really a DPS. He's more of a CC than anything. But it's it's the general feel. And obviously over time as I learned more about the game, I learned how to build more, more effectively, more efficiently. It allowed me to really hone in on what I enjoyed the most about him and add in new aspects of it. So like the capacitance mod, being able to you know, stun and lock down an entire room using the, I think it's called Overload now, it's, it's his four. Wow. And through that, you know, sustaining overshields and granting overshields to other allies, it, it provides a little bit more team utility, at which I appreciate being able to do that, being able to help out my friends and keep things rolling so that we can go further, go longer. It's aesthetically pleasing to me. It's playstyle-wise very pleasing to me. And for that reason, Bolt has and probably always will be my favorite frame. Okay, so funny enough, a question I've had that, funny enough, you're one of the only people I can answer. How does it feel having a favorite that's effectively the meta now? It's... It's weird, because Volt, when I first started, a lot of the people who I originally got into Warframe with did not look at Volt very highly. He was actually probably the you know one of the ones that my friends tried to stray me away from the most, despite the fact that I enjoyed what he brought. And obviously, through each update... You know, the different game style, play style changes that have brought Volt has kind of, it's been a roller coaster because, you know, old Warframe used to be more CC centric, so he was a lot better. Uh, Newer Warframe updates have kind of leaned a little bit further away from that. Him rotating back into the meta, it's not validating, but it is interesting to me. Mm -hmm. And part of me does like that more people are enjoying my favorite frame and are getting some high level use out of him because it at the very least you know it means that my choice my favorite has legs to stand on in high level content yeah, I do find it funny that it's gotten to the point now where people will bitch at you if you don't run Volt and Eidolons. <laughs> <laughs> eh, that, that, that sort of stuff is not something I ever really no, appreciate. I know, I, yeah. and, and frames have always bounced between that sort of thing. You know, it used to be Chroma, it used to be Oberon, it used to be Loki. Still is, you know, to some degree Loki. You know, high-level players do still enjoy and utilize Loki very effectively, and I think the same could be said for most frames. But, yeah, like, as long as people are able to, you know, build efficiently and, you know, get as much use out of him as possible, then power to them. You know, I hope they enjoy him as much as I do. Yeah. And hopefully, you know, with some people, perhaps they have a new favorite. Yeah. Back to Volt, though. I gotta say, the shenanigans you can do with the speed is fucking hilarious to me. Oh, yeah, it's, all, it, it's always been fun. Yeah. You I, know, I love taking... high speed builds, to me, have always felt mostly gimmicky. True. But, you know, there, there is... It's, it's fun. It's just a new way to have fun. Yeah. The fucking... Using the Galatine, back, back before the Gram was a thing... Using the Galatine with Volt's speed always was just fucking hilarious to watch because you're using the sword <laughs> yeah. that's like three times the size of your frame and you're just fucking whipping it around like it's made out of paper. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. It's, 
the the Galatine Prime just fucking swinging around like it's just a stick near a little kid in the park. <laughs> All the Grenier are watching you like, what the fuck? <laughs> You're just becoming a human blender. Yeah. And I mean, <laughs> that, that's another thing too with like Volt, right? Is because of that buff to speed for melee, you know, it, it allows you to be a little bit more frivolous in certain melee builds, you know? Yeah. Obviously, I tend to at least try to have a bare minimum of one attack speed, you know? I I don't like slow, sluggish weapons, even if it's not the best way to build something, I like to at least... If it doesn't feel good to me, then it's not going to be fun to you. Honestly, fucking it, same. Obviously, Volt's, yeah, Volt's melee, you know, buffets with his two, it, it allows me to be a little bit, like I said, a little bit more frivolous with my builds. Yeah. So I can, I guess, you know, optimize more. Yeah, speaking of them. care a little bit less. Speaking of that, I gotta, whenever I do the AoE Nerfs video, I'm not sure when the hell that's gonna come out, but I gotta make a video on that because it's weird what it actually did to the game but i will say volt does play a role in that but i'm gonna save that until i do that video I, i'm not someone who's just gonna like scream for the heavens like you should play volt you should play volt you should play volt play volt if you like volt. you yeah. know if you enjoy the play style of them if you enjoy you know going fast or if you enjoy the aesthetic of electricity if you enjoy cc play volt you know that's, some, fun. that's something I've always he, stood by is, you know, everyone else's opinions are bullshit if they tell you, you you don't you're not allowed to like something that you like. If you enjoy it, do it. Yeah. You know everyone can find fault in any of the warframes. Not every warframe is perfect, not every warframe is God tier. And there are some find, that are just downright terrible. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say some are downright terrible. You know they have their niche and just if you enjoy the playstyle of a certain Warframe, or if you enjoy the aesthetic of a certain Warframe, you know, fashion frame is endgame. Just play them. Play them because you like them. Yep, yep. All right, yeah. and with that, thank you for hopping on for my video. Uh, everybody, no worries. Go. Do you still you do you still do stuff on YouTube? Um, I've been on a hiatus, still figuring some stuff out. Uh huh. Well, anyway, you can plug your channel, of course. If you care to. Uh, Foolish Sparky is my YouTube at present. Right. Uh, I usually do game content, but at, with friends or just by myself. But at present, I'm just kind of reworking stuff and trying to figure out what I want to do with things. Volt is still crazy powerful. I know the first couple of abilities made it sound like I fucking hate him, but it's the exact opposite. I love his kit, and likely he will always have a place in this game. Unless, God forbid, DE gives him the Ember treatment. I don't think they will, to be honest, though. I, I feel like they would have done that already, if nothing else. A uh, quick little tidbit, I put Sparky's YouTube channel in the description. Uh, check it out if it's something you might be interested in. And with that, I gotta get moving. So thank you all for watching, and have a great day.